Welcome back. Let's get you updated on this story. Remember when illegal aliens rioted at the border earlier this spring in Texas and they rushed and assaulted the Texas National Guard? Now this news is coming in. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says he has to do a new crackdown because 100 suspected members of the violent Venezuelan Trenta Aragua gang, they were in that crowd. Let's welcome to the show from Senate Homeland Security, Senator Ron Johnson. Senator, it's always great to have you on the show again. We're thankful you could join us. What do you make of this? They're, this gang is now accused of committing crimes across the country in Chicago. They're in, they're in California. They're in, uh, you know, basically New York City. And now, uh, you know, basically Texas governor is saying they're, he's going to designate them a foreign terrorist gang. Well, Elizabeth, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, this is what I've been concerned about. You know, when, when I was chairman of Homeland Security, I would go down to uh, Central America and you would hear tales of, of some of the most brutal gangs and, and what they did. They, they almost make uh, ISIS look like choir boys. That's, that's, th th they're awful. And now these people have infiltrated this country. They've flooded into this country uh, as part of the millions that uh, the Biden-Harris administration had led in through their uh, open border process. But there, you know, there, these legal pathways they've established, uh, you know, visas granted without interviews at embassies. You know, they're, they're flying people in. They've got their uh, their App One application. I mean, this is completely out of control. And as I said, we are only seeing the tip of the iceberg. You, you hear all these migrant crimes, the rapes, the murders, just the tip of the iceberg. You know what it feels like, too? Like little towns are getting hit, right? I mean, you see Springfield, you see Aurora, Colorado, a town now in Alabama is taking an influx in now. And but Kamala Harris today took no responsibility for the resettlement of these illegal aliens and, and migrants and asylees stretching local towns budgets. The taxpayers bills and their taxes, property taxes and more are going to have to go up. Now, this is going to cost Americans billions. Uh, we are going to be dealing with the negative consequences of this open border for years, if not decades. You know, in Central America, for example, if you're, uh, let's say, a new police uh, chief, you'll get a DVD from the cartels showing your children and your wife going to church or to school. And this is how they control areas. So it's going to be easier to control a little town, a little region, you know, someplace out, uh, you know, where you can start cultivating marijuana crops, that type of thing. Again, they will be setting up shop. Uh, they'll do it quietly until it's, it's really too late, until they're fully established. So again, no, this, I am highly concerned about what we are going to be witnessing over the next uh, months and years because of this open border policy. Senator Ron Johnson, thanks for being with us tonight to talk about this. Appreciate you. It's good to see you. Have a good evening.